Daniel Page was back at the State House today after winning Tuesday's election. That's right, he received 48% of the vote and got more actual votes than any other governor in Maine history. WMTW News A political reporter Paul Merrill is live in Augusta to tell us what the governor is planning for his second term. Paul. Well, the governor says issue number one moving forward is energy and how much energy costs here in Maine. He also talked today about working with both Democrats and Republicans and how he's feeling after a brutal stretch of campaigning. Rested. I slept 22 hours yesterday. Back in his state house office two days after election day, Governor LePage calls his win a mandate and says his victory is validation from voters who agree with him that energy costs are too high and welfare needs reforming. Too little pay too much, and too many pay nothing, and, and many of the ones that pay nothing are at the trough getting money every year. For at least the first half of his second term, LePage will be working with a Republican-controlled state Senate, but he says the party in power doesn't matter to him. I do respect both Democrats and Republicans. There are some good ones in both parties. Nobody's got a monopoly on the best, and nobody's got a monopoly on the worst. So it's working with people. LePage says the number one focus of his work will be controlling the costs of energy in Maine. That will affect how Mainers heat their homes and how businesses make decisions about whether to make investments in our state. The governor talked about developing plans that look forward a decade. He says it's worked for transportation and he wants to do the same thing for education. He says he's willing to compromise on issues, but he insists that he won't stray from his fiscally conservative style. I think we, there's a lot we can do with less. Uh, so I, I just think I'm not a big spender. I, I, I think we can build a rainy day fund. I think we can get our fiscal house in order, and then we can pay for things with cash rather than bond. We also want to tell you that while my photographer was allowed in the governor's office today, I was not. The governor personally excluded me because he is upset with me about a story I did about him on Monday night. You'll remember that's when the governor rallied with Chris Christie on the night before Election Day. The governor said he wanted to put a newspaper opinion columnist on suicide watch. Live in Augusta, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.